Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jacob Sobrow for Y Tuesday, coming to you from California today, where I'm back at home. Uh, I hope you've been following along with us over the past couple of months as we've traveled to Iowa and New Hampshire and other places covering the early part of this presidential primary election season, the primary nominating process. Uh, coming up on February 5th, I'm going to get to vote in my state's own primary, um, and that falls on what's known as Super Tuesday. That's the day that 24 states around the country are going to get to choose their delegates for the presidential nominating process. Uh, if this whole primary process and primary schedule is confusing to you, don't worry about it. You're not alone. The way you get your party's nomination is by winning state delegates, and the number of state delegates is proportional to the state's population. So while Iowa and New Hampshire are first and they get a lot of attention, it's really only a small fraction of the amount of delegates needed to secure the party nomination. For years, other states have been jealous about all of the attention that these early states get. So... In an attempt to get some candidate love, uh, states like Nevada and South Carolina have moved their own primary or caucuses up. Both parties agree that Tuesday, February 5th, was the earliest sanctioned day that other states could take part. And now, more than ever, other states have moved up their voting to that day. But some states didn't listen. Michigan, for example, moved their primary to January 15th, but the Democratic Party felt that this was too close to other races. So in response, they stripped Michigan of all of their delegates. Uh, the same thing goes for Florida. Um, here's what Florida Governor Charlie Crist had to say when we asked him about the game of primary election musical chairs. I'm, I'm excited about it. I think it's the right thing to do to move our election up, to put Florida in the forefront, I think is very, very important. Groups like FixThePrimaries.com are arguing for a federally standardized primary schedule, and they maintain that voters get cut out of the process when front-loading of contests occur. With every state party, in conjunction with the state legislature, free to schedule their own contests, any orderly national schedule just doesn't happen. Like I said, this year the DNC and the RNC have found themselves in a battle with their own state parties. Who loses in this case? Voters, pretty much. Uh, states are thinking of their own voters, but not our country's voters as a whole. To make sure that the voices of their voters were heard, 24 states decided to hold their elections on Super Tuesday. And with 24 states taking part, it becomes the nation's first quasi-national primary. States like California and New York and Illinois have huge delegate counts, and this day could be the deciding factor for both parties' nominating processes. And there's still a ton of states that haven't voted yet. By way of comparison, in early February of 2000, only 2% of delegates had been selected. This year, it's going to be over 40% by early February, and that's only two months into our six-month-long primary election schedule. In the United Kingdom, elections last weeks, not months, and they rank 55th, and we rank 139th, in voter participation worldwide. That doesn't seem right, does it? Some folks are calling this Super Duper Tuesday. Other people are calling it Tsunami Tuesday. Regardless of what you call it or what you think about the length of the primary election schedule, it's important that you get out and get involved. For most of us, including me, this is going to be our first chance to actually cast a ballot in the primary election process, even though it seems like it's been going on forever. In the states that have voted already, voter participation has been on the rise, and let's keep it moving in that right direction. Like Thomas Paine said, voting is the right by which all other rights are protected. So there's a few simple things that you can do to help protect your rights. First, register to vote. It's as easy as filling out a simple form and mailing it in. You can find the link on whytuesday.org. Second, get informed. Think about what issues are important to you and find a candidate that's right for you. The great thing is that in 2008, all the candidates are online and there's a ton of information about them. All the candidates have websites, and most, if not all of them, have profiles on YouTube and MySpace and Facebook. Take a few minutes to check them out. Third, vote. Whether or not it's on Super Tuesday or shortly thereafter, it's important you take part. Some pundits are saying the nominating process could last until the summer conventions. That means every state, every delegate, every vote is important. And number four, log on to whytuesday.org, sign up for our mailing list, and subscribe to our videos. We've talked to 13 of the 16 presidential candidates and asked them all if they think our voting system's broken, and nearly all of them think it is in some way. We're going to continue to cover the race and continue to cover the trend of increased voter participation. At Y Tuesday, we want to see an America where voting is not just a right, but it's a democratic imperative for all citizens. Stay tuned to Y Tuesday for more on that. Uh, I'm Jacob Sobrov. Talk to you guys later.